Jesus is God. He is God. But you believe a man is God. You believe that Jesus, that a man came, don't you? Like you believe that a man came down, like came a few years ago, and that's you believe that was Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how can you, how, how can you justify that? Because, because Jesus spoke about his second coming in the book of Matthew, yeah. as if that when he comes back, he said that every eye is going to see him. Yeah. So how can you justify? Um, uh, believing so, that a man is Jesus. So, so a, anyone could come along and do anything. Jesus, when he claimed to be God, he came with miracles. He came with signs and wonders. He was crucified. He was raised from the dead three days later. And yet you take the word of a man, of Muhammad for a start, that is proven to be a false prophet. You take the word of a man that claimed to be Jesus Christ and you reject the truth. We have Bible prophecies from thousands of years before Jesus came in to this creation, proving that he was God, proving that he would do what he said he would do, and he fulfilled that, and we have eyewitnesses accounts that he fulfilled that. Jesus is not God. Jesus, Jesus is God. God. Yes, he is God. Jesus always prayed to the one God. He always put him the Father. Jesus, yeah, Jesus, Jesus and the Father are one. Father. John 14, Jesus, Jesus said, I, I am God. my Father are one. Yeah, so you the, used the Bible, yeah. but you just, you did. You mean he's a prophet. No, he, prophet. he was not a prophet. He prophet. was not a prophet. And you claim that some man that came a few years ago was Jesus Christ. I was a good man with no, no, you're, you're being deceived. If you do not believe Jesus is God, you're going to die and you're seeing it. Tell you that in John 8 24 you're trying to quote the Bible because Jesus prayed to the Father but you say how could Jesus uh, you know they Muslims say how can Jesus have a God if he is God but just like Jesus calls the Father God in Hebrews chapter 1 God the Father calls Jesus God there were many other prophets that called the Father, no, God the Father. no but there weren't no other prophets that God the Father called God he said you are my son he said and upon your throne Abraham oh God a Abraham was a son. he wasn't Isaac called was God son. he was not called God Jesus was never called in Hebrews chapter 1, no. God says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever and ever. Yeah, but it does not say, yes, it does. The Father calls Jesus God, yeah. and your uh, Jesus calls the Father God. He says, I am my Father, one. So how can if you die? see me, how did God not know the last hour? Jesus how created Jesus for himself. Hold on, Jesus created for himself a physical body. He created for himself a but physical body. But why did body. he not know the last hour? Jesus, because he set aside his glory, he set aside his omniscience. You know, why no. did not Jesus know the last hour? Because he set aside, he took on human flesh. He became, uh, he be took on flesh. God Jesus became a man. Jesus fully God, fully man. man. Because because God, because God, because God. God became flesh. <laughs> he became a man. He, he's not Muslim. And he's so therefore, well, you know, at the same, well, I agree, but he's deceived, but so are you. No, you're deceived. You're, you're deceived. deceived. In the same you're way that he is, you are deceived. This man believes that Jesus came a few years ago, and you take the word of a man that claimed that God was speaking to him while he was in bed with a nine-year-old child. Are you better than him? You're both deceived. You're both as bad as each other. Both of you are lost. You work with tattoo You work with tattoo I wear the truth. No, but you don't bear the truth. I'm the Messiah. No, you don't. Yeah, but you're but you're Jesus is the Messiah. We, we, and you say this man is Jesus. Yeah. So you're being deceived. Yes, you're being deceived. If you don't listen, you won't understand. No, you listen, you understand. Jesus tells us the way in which he's going to come back. He says, if anybody comes in my name, don't believe it. But you say that that man is Jesus. That man is not Jesus. Listen, That's why Jesus is God Almighty. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. It says in Psalm 110. Listen, the Lord, listen to this. It tells us in the psalmist written by David, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. Why would you follow this religion? Why? Why? It's the truth. No, but it's not the truth. This is Jesus. How many men could come down and claim to be Jesus? That man is dead. That's Jesus. Jesus Christ is alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. No, he's dead. He's, alive. he's dead. He he's died. Alive. He's alive. He, no, he's and what that's another Jesus. He's a, uh, a successor of Jesus. See, that's my point. Men seeking power. Why would you risk your soul for this? Why would you risk your 
Who's sold for this? This is rubbish. And you know it is. This is a cult. It's a cult. It's not the truth. Don't be deceived. Jesus said that unless a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Religion. Religion is not of God. Religion can't save you. But if you put your faith and trust in Jesus, the real Jesus, who is Almighty God, who came from heaven 2,000 years ago, that's blasphemy. That's not Jesus. That man is dead. He's not Jesus. If you, if you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin, He'll save you. He's not Jesus. Stop blaspheming God. Don't be deceived. You're, this is rubbish and you know it is. This is absolute rubbish. This is rubbish and you know it is. This is rubbish and you know it is. It's rubbish. You're being led astray. Why are you allowing this man to lead you astray? You put your trust in a human being. Cursing is the man that makes flesh his heart. David wrote about Jesus. He said that the Lord said to my Lord, speaking about the Messiah, sit at my right hand and I put your enemies under your feet. Do you see the enemies being under Jesus' feet right now? Yes. No. So where is Jesus? Still seated at the right hand of the Father. And he's going to come again on the last day to judge the living and the dead. He's already here to do that. No, he's dead. That man is not Jesus. He's that dead. man is dead. No, he's still alive. You're going to wind up in hell. You're going to wind up in hell. I know Jesus. That's I have a relationship with Jesus. No, that's, that's not him. That man is a monster. No, he is. And he's deceiving you. He's deceiving you. Honestly, Jesus said that unless a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Jesus, the real Jesus that came 2,000 years ago, that performed miracles, that was crucified for sin, that was raised from the dead. He is the truth. He is the way. This man is nobody. No, why would you put your trust in this man? Why would you believe this rubbish? Why? That's not Jesus and you know it is. You know it is. You know that man is not Jesus. It is him, no one else. You're being it, deceived. It's not everyone. You know, I felt sorry for you because of the way those people were attacking you. Yeah. But you know what? You're blaspheming my Lord and Savior. You're Jesus. blaspheming my God. You're blaspheming my God. And you're being led astray. You're Jesus being led to hell. Jesus did die on the cross. Jesus only we, have we have eyewitnesses. We have eyewitness accounts. He tells us in John chapter 10 that he has other sheep that are not of Israel that he will bring into the yes, same fold. That's the price. Talking about the Gentiles. Yes. No, no we're talking not the about the Gentiles. No. Yes. He has other sheep. No sheep are there are uh, uh, Jewish. Are you Jewish? No, so then he didn't come for you either, did he? Yeah, Jesus, According to your Jesus. narrative. Yeah. The first Jesus. Yeah. No, and, and uh, this man comes along and says, I'm Jesus. And he then you have gullible people like you that believe it. Gullible people that don't believe it. Millions. How stupid do you have to be? No. Millions. The Pope has 1.2 billion Catholics. Does that make Catholicism a true religion? No. But this is, uh, this is uh, no. the real teaching. No, it's Follow not. The real the, Jesus. This man is no one. He's the real Jesus. That man will be burning in hell. Speaking you. Look, the real that man will be in hell claiming to be Jesus that's not Jesus how can you believe this God how can you believe it Jesus is God Jesus never went to India he never left Israel he did leave he never left Israel he did no he did not because he came to lost tribes no he came to Israel but he said I've got other sheep that are not of this world that he would bring in talking about the Gentiles no no talking about the Gentiles Jesus tells us in the book of Matthew, that when he comes back, every eye is going to see him. I'll look at you, that this is Jesus. That's not Jesus. And unless you repent from your blasphemy and your idolatry, you're going to end up in the lake of fire. That's not Jesus. You're going to go to hell. Did Jesus because you put your trust. Yes, he did. He did where? Three come days later. Come you have proof. We have the apostles. No one in history would refute Jesus dying on the cross. Let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. If Jesus died on the cross, right? And he went three days in hell. Do you not understand you're putting your God, someone that you... He never went down in hell. He never went into hell. He went into shore God. for three days. He went into the grave. And he so preached he punished to himself. the... No! He went into the grave for three Think days. He saying. went into show. Think what he you're went... saying. He went in. You're claiming that your God he went, went to hell no. to punish himself. No, he never went to hell. He went down to the prisoners that were waiting for judgment 
to preach to them. So why is it after the resurrection Jesus came to Mary and he and he came to uh, his disciples? He was raised from the dead three days later. But why was he? Why, why three days later. Disciples? And when he appeared to Thomas the disciple, Thomas said to him, Thomas, the, the other disciple saw Jesus. Exactly. Hold on. Let me after finish. the cross. Let me finish. It shows let, that Jesus did not die because let, he came off the cross. No, it shows that he was raised from the no. dead. No. Let me finish. He came off I the cross. I want to explain something to you. The cross. He did. They pierced his side to make sure he was dead. Yes, he didn't he, come off the cross. He did come off the cross. Hold on, let me finish. Thomas, when he appeared to his apostles, he wasn't there. And Jesus, he said to the apostles, Thomas said, unless I see the holes in his hands and in his feet, I'm not out put at his side. I'm not going to believe it. And later that day, Jesus appeared to Thomas and he says, you who are doubting, put your hands in, my, in the holes where I where, where you put the feet. He says, he said, stop doubting. It, now believe and Thomas worshipped exactly. him and said my lord oh my god Thomas put his hands in the holes where Jesus was crucified so what Jesus, does that show you? it shows that he was raised from the dead but it doesn't he died yeah, on that after the cross. cross after the cross he died on that cross but after the cross but three days later God raised him from the dead and he was still alive he was raised from the dead in bodily form like you and me but and when he came back body. okay when he came back he was alive of course there you go he died on the cross. There you go. He died. He died on the cross. You just proved my point. No, he died on the cross. You but three days later, he was raised from the dead. But he was Do you not believe that God can raise someone from the dead? So what happened was, Jesus... Of course he was alive after he was raised from the dead. Yes. So basically, yes. what so, it actually means is... No, Jesus, do not. Before. No, it means that Jesus died. He was dead. Was Jesus pissed? Yes. And what happened? He died. No, when he got he pierced, died. If you were to have a heart attack right now and die, you would be dead. But if Jesus, God, when he was on the cross, he got done. pierced and blood and water got out, if showing God, that Jesus was still alive. No, God raised Jesus him. Jesus was a Muslim. Uh, Jesus was not a Muslim. Jesus, Jesus was, Muslim. was a Jew. You just said he, Jesus came to the tribes of Israel. Jesus was a Muslim because that Jesus he was a Jew. in one God. No, Jesus is God. Jesus said he believed in God the Father Himself and the Holy Spirit. Just because He prayed to the Father, just like we do, didn't make Him any less God. Didn't make the Holy Spirit any less God. What you're God. following is cool. And cool no, no, I'm not. Because if you go to the baptism Jesus of Jesus, go to the baptism of Jesus. You have God the Father speaking from heaven. This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. You have the Holy Spirit come down on Jesus, and then you have Jesus in the water. You have present at the baptism of Christ, the Triune God. Jesus the Triune God. Jesus yes. Jesus is oh, God. Is what He is three persons, one God, one God being, but revealed to us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Don't be deceived, Jesus is God. And He tells us in John 8, 24, unless you believe that I am here, you will die in sin. Jesus is not a Muslim. He is a Jew. Yes, He came 2,000 years ago and He's coming back at the end of this age. He hasn't come, come back. Mama, That's not the second coming. Don't be deceived. You're going to be deceived. You're going to end up in hell unless you prepare for your own Jesus is God. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.